Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I really wanna do a video about my bags. And this time I wanna actually talk about my five least favorite bag or least worn bag actually, because they're not my least favorite. There are some of them that are still my favorite, but I'm not warning them, I'm not using them as much as I did before. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I have two Instagram accounts. I will link it down below. And without further ado, let's do it. So I do video all about luxury uh, items, about designer bags, uh, shoes, everything, about also skincare, makeup. So I would really, really appreciate if you um, join my family, my community. Um, so the first bag, is actually one of my most favorite that I have in my collection, but I'm not using it as much as I wish I did. Um, and I'm gonna explain you also why. So the first bag is my Celine. This one is, I think it calls mini luggage tote. It's not that mini as you guys see it. They have different sizing. They do have like a micro, no, a small, like, like a, a nano version that is the smallest um, that you can also wear crossbody. Then they do have a micro version, a little bit smaller than this one, and that will actually be my perfect size to be honest. The mini, it's huge, and I think they have another size was like really, really big. So I actually bought this in a secondhand store in Stockholm, um, and this bag was never worn. Uh, it came with tag, with dust bag, with everything, and it has zero scratches, so I didn't pay as much as it was in store, but it was still very expensive. Um, and I love this bag so much. I wish this, I wanted this bag for the longest time, and I couldn't really justify the price because it is a very expensive bag. Uh, but to be honest, the quality of this is amazing. Like the leather is so thick. And the reason why I don't wear this bag so much, I think has to do with the, the color like the color is like a co a beautiful cobalt blue but you know it's very difficult to match you never know what to wear it with it um it's kind of a difficult bag to wear second thing is is also a very heavy bag because the leather is very very thick and to be honest it's a very durable bag you know you can do everything with it it's in calf skin leather and nothing happens to it but mm, because of it's so heavy, it's so big on me. Um, I tend not to wear it as much. I just use it usually when I go to work or if I'm going to school. So if I'm going to school, this is a perfect school bag, to be honest. You have different pockets where you can put your phone in and other stuff. So it's a very structured uh, structure bag and I love it. I wish I bought this one in the smallest, the smaller side, the micro, in maybe a beige or like a, um, taupe kind of color that will be more useful for me I will use it even more um, so that's kind of sad but I do love this bag so much I don't see myself selling it I would sell it though if I find a micro version in black or taupe because I think I will wear it so much more but for now I think it's just I love it to have it in my collection I love to just have it there um, in case I need it and I love this bag so much. I'm sad that I don't wear it as much as I should. The second bag that I don't use so much um, is a bag from Prada. Uh, you guys already saw this. If you already checked my updated uh, bag collection, I will link it up below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but this one is the Prada Safiano bag in, I think it's Safiano leather, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one is like the medium size of the bag. Um, and this is like with the open, without the zip. Some of them comes with a zip that you can open, but this one comes just with a lock. And I mean, it's a beautiful bag. I know my mom loved this bag so much and other like woman, like elderly woman always say to me that this is a stunning bag. I think because it's a very structure, beautiful bag. You can see it. It's in a beautiful orange, like a typical, I would say Hermes orange. So it's beautiful color, but also the same, I bought this one also in a vintage store in Stockholm as well. Um, also never worn, like I think because of the color, it was never worn. Um, with no scratches, nothing. Um, it's a 
kind of squishy bag but it still remains its structure and I like this bag but to be honest I bought it back in the days when Prada Sofiano bag was very very like hyped and in trend and I like it so I wore this so much back in the days but now I don't use it as much because of the color and another thing that bothers me is if you put so too much stuff in it this will sag down so of course you can put like a um, carton in it you know so it doesn't make it sag but I don't really like the look of it this one I also a lot of time is contemplating to resell it. Uh, the problem is um, you can resell a product bag as high as you bought it so you have to go down the price like a lot and yeah but I'm considering this one actually sell because I, I don't reach for it anymore. The third bag that I have is also one of my favorite all-time favorites but I don't reach for it anymore because of the trend it's not so trendy anymore and this one is actually a classic this one is the Balenciaga classic CD I think it calls classic CD I think um, yeah it's one with a really squishy leather like motorbike kind of vibe with a stripe and it also has a lot of uh, like tassels everywhere and yeah with the mirror and everything and it's a very very squishy leather and also the hardware, I think it's like like a brushed bronze kind of look. And I mean, this bag I bought in Milan in the Balenciaga store. I went alone. I had all my money that I that I saved for the longest time because I wanted so so bad this bag. So I went alone in the store and I just picked it up and it was the last I have in store, so in stock, so that's why I bought it immediately and I have been wearing this to death. Like I was always the girl with that classic CD Balenciaga bag, it was like my all time favorite, I wear it for so many years and I love it, I love it so much, I think it's such a cool look and edgy also with like this black this kind of totally black all black kind of bag and it goes really good with leather jackets like with a very like casual look so it's amazing and back in the days all the stars were wearing exactly this type of bag it was so trendy back in the days um, but now it's not so trendy anymore you see a lot of bags from Balenciaga being sold for very little amount of money um, because they don't uh, keep their value so much. Um, I do love this bag. I'm not seeing myself selling this bag anytime soon because I feel like this is gonna come back and when it does I'm gonna still rock this baby so much. The fourth bag that I have um, is another bag that I'm contemplating selling. Um, this one is the Stella McCartney uh, Falabella bag. This one is in vegan leather, so it's not actually leather. This one is the second, I think the second biggest size. And it's really good because it's so versatile. You can actually use it like this if you want, but you can also like bend it over and use it as a um, shoulder bag. So I mean, it's a very useful bag. Or you can also put this chain inside and you can actually use this one as a clutch. And so it has the three chains and this one is the classic, the first one that came out like with the black shiny uh, vegan leather uh, with the three chains um, and with the silver hardware. Um, when it first came out, I bought this one immediately. I think I pay 600 euros for it. Now it's so expensive um, for what it actually is because it's not leather. Um, I don't use it back. I think I never used so much these bags since I bought it because I feel like it's too squishy for me I think it doesn't um, it doesn't keep the shape it has no shape and um, because it's not leather I don't know for me it looks a little bit cheap back in the day I, I loved it but now when I see it I don't know I feel like it's a very it costs so much. I don't think it's worth the money for this bag. Um, and I see a lot of girls 
uh, using this bag so maybe this one will sell really good but I really contemplate on selling this because I, I mean I don't use it anymore I have so much more beautiful bags I mean when it sits like this also if you put a lot of stuff in it it still it doesn't keep its shape the chain is amazing and it's very heavy and it's really beautiful made but the shape of this bag you see it it's just hang like this my last bag of my least uh, worn bags is one that I wanted for the longest time and I also bought this in a vintage store in Stockholm and this one is the Givenchy Antigona in the medium size with gold hardware with patent leather I'm going back a little bit so you guys maybe can see it better um, this bag is beautiful the problem is I bought it not in really good condition it had like it broke the leather went off on this side and on this side it's totally broken I don't know if you guys can see it and also behind you have a lot of marks so because of that I mean the, I didn't pay so much for this bag to be honest with you but it has a lot of scratches and because it's patent leather it's kind of very very delicate I thought it would not be that delicate but it is so I have a lot of scratches here um, made before I bought the bag um, because I have been keeping it very like in pristine I haven't been using it so much uh, but the person who used it before must have used it so much because it has so much scratches it also has like a strap like this so I mean you can actually use it like this if you want like a shoulder bag um, the problem I have with this bag is too big for me like it's so big for me and the second problem I have with it it gets really really heavy um, and also I, I feel like this one is exactly the same problem the Balenciaga CD classic has um, the Givenchy Antigona is not as trendy as it was before like I still see people buying Givenchy Antigua don't get me wrong but I feel like back in the days everyone needed a Givenchy Antigua in their in their collection like everyone I think every single influencer had this bag in their collection and um, now it's not as trendy anymore and I think if it is maybe it's the smallest size not this one I mean this one is too big too big and it's kind of sad because I love it I do get get a lot of messages about this bag people ask me if I'm gonna sell it or not um, also my mother-in-law loved this bag so much and I I like it also but I think because of all the scratches and everything and because it's so heavy I haven't been using it so much I'm more into small bags right now I enjoy so much small bags the only big bag that I wish I had and that I'm gonna buy and it is in my wish list collection in my wish list video if you guys already saw it is the Chanel jumbo um, in the beige caviar leather with gold hardware this one is my ultimate big bag like if I had that one I don't care about anything else because I wish to have a big Chanel because I my Chanel that I have are medium size medium large actually or um, small so I have nothing big of Chanel so I wish I had like a Chanel jumbo um, but other than that I'm more into small bags I love my small bags and this is too big for me um, the Dior book tote that I recently bought is huge but this is another thing it's a very trendy piece and it's a perfect uh, beach bag it's a perfect travel bag like with this one I can't travel with this one it's too heavy for me me and um, after that I'm just gonna use it for travel but I'm not gonna use it for something else if I'm traveling with my Dior book tote I will go to the beach with it I will go um, to the city with it but with this one like I'm so limited to just use it for traveling and that's it and then I'm not gonna use it during the trip I'm really uh, contemplating also to sell selling this one but it's such in a bad condition I don't think people are gonna buy it so guys that was it for my youtube video if you guys like it click a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will really really appreciate it i hope you guys are good are safe and please take care of each other i wish you a happy happy day Mwah. bye guys